Hey guys, it's Dr. Dean Brown here. So you've, you've had the neck pain, it's shooting down your arm or really bad back pain. Maybe it's going down into your leg. You've gone to the MRI, which is scary enough, and now you've got your MRI report and it's got words on there that you've never seen before. And so now you're adding on the fear of not understanding what these diagnosis long words stand for and the pain that you're already in. It's not a good formula. Now I've read tens of thousands of MRIs and it occurs to me that the more people know about what's going on inside their body, it tends to take some of the pressure and some of the stress off the situation. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna right now tell you the two most common misunderstood or confused words that you see on an MRI report. So that if you're looking at it and you don't have a chance to talk to your doctor yet, this will give you some information. So here we go. Okay, so the biggest words that are confused or misunderstood are this, disc bulge versus disc herniation, and sometimes they throw the word protrusion in there, and that makes things even worse. So let me, let me shed a little bit of light on that for you so that you can have an understanding of what you're really looking at. Instead of using scientific words like nucleus pulposus and annulus fibrosis, let's just use some understanding and some words that we know from our daily lives, like this. You know what sticking your tongue out is like, well, like that, right? Well, that would be a protrusion. Sticking your tongue out, that's a protrusion. That's what's happening to the disc. The disc is protruding out in a way that it's not supposed to. Now, you know what a pizza looks like, right? Okay, so let's work with pizza for just a minute. Let's look at the pizza and, and let's cut it into pieces. If we cut the pizza straight in half, you have half a pizza, right? Now, if you have a little bit more than half a pizza, in the disc world, that's called a bulge. That bulge has probably been there for a long time. So when it's protruding out and the measurement is a little bit more than half a pizza, that's called a disc bulge. Now, the, the real difference between that and a disc herniation is this, less pizza. Here's what I mean. So let's go back to that half a pizza now and let's take a piece away. Now you have less than half a pizza. When it's less than half a pizza that's protruding out, that's called a herniation. And a herniation is from an event. And it doesn't have to be some major big time event, although that's what's often causing it at the end. Sometimes it has, the disc has gotten more and more weak and then at the end, one final straw that broke the camel's back, right? happens and that disc herniates out. So the two words, bulge and herniation. Again, bulge just means more than half of the disc is protruding out and that means it's probably been there for a long time. The herniation is half, less than half of that disc is protruding out in the wrong direction and that's probably been from an event or some sort of trauma. Uh, that's the difference between those words. Now, in our office, the treatment for that is very much the same or very similar. So no matter how we label the condition, you still get to use the same comfortable treatment table, the same pain-free laser, and you still get the customized exercises that's part of our proprietary treatment system. If you wanna find out a little bit more about that, just check out one of our other videos. I hope that helps.